I really feel like I want to end my life because I have this every every day is a torture I have this <coughs> I have this sensation where I'm blocking like this constantly all the time but people can't see that I'm just I have this even when I'm still or constantly I'm like dizzy like this in this this I'm stuck in this kind of sensation like I'm I'm on a boat like I'm on a dock rocking like this and people I I got it after a panic attack 3 months ago and and the sensation feels a lot worse than back then there were times where the sensation felt like I was being pulled to one side, like gravity was pulling me to one side. But now it's just this heavy, heavy feeling like stomach drop, like when you're on an elevator, like the wave, when you're on a boat and there's a big wave and like your stomach drop feeling is very uncomfortable. It's very nauseating. I want to throw up. It's so uncomfortable. This is like constant every day and the only temporary relief I have is if I take a walk if I'm I, if I'm in motion like if I'm in a car driving as long as I'm not stopping then it counterbalances a little bit so it's it's some relief, but as soon as I'm still, I feel so. I feel torture. It's just like, I'm I'm like, it's just spinning. And it's just rocking, and it's so uncomfortable. I wanna, like, I don't wanna live. I don't wanna live. It's like I, I need help. And there's no. There's no. There's no cure for this or people it's not there's not much research on this like I searched the internet the closest I could find is called PPPD it's like persistent you know it's like dizziness persistent and and, and MDDS but I didn't get it from a cruise ship I got it after a panic attack three months ago and it's like my nervous my nerves my nervous system it seems like my vestibular nerve in my ear or some nerve is just like it's just stuck in this in this motion where I'm just it, it won't it won't it won't stop and I don't know if when I had the panic attack, the ER, they gave me Xanax, benzodiazepine. And I took three total within that week. And a lot of people are saying, oh, like, that's not gonna, you only took three, so that's not gonna alter your brain or, you know, change that's not gonna affect your body but then like two months after I took that like I had brain zaps and I had ended up in the ER again and you know none of the doctors knew what I was talking about like but if you google brain zap it, it comes out as either from high anxiety disorder or or uh, antidepressant or you know anxiety like pill withdrawal symptoms and it was the worst brain zap like my head my brain felt like it was literally being electrocuted like vibrating for like an entire minute a whole minute and that's why I went I I, I called the ambulance and went to the ER and even when I got to the hospital that that happened again like a whole minute like my arms and brain 
head was vibrating like I was being jolted like shocked it was and I was just in pain no no doctor they didn't you know they were they didn't even pay attention they didn't even they thought I don't know they they can't see or they can't feel my pain so they just didn't do anything and I was just it was just torture and I don't know if that's because of the the Xanax withdrawal or it's because anxiety but it's it it's the scariest feeling it's 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 but that happened two months and I just the rocking sensation never never has gone away it's just that's the dizziness is the biggest torture like I people say it's anxiety I need to control my anxiety but I mean yeah of course I have anxiety because I'm constantly uncomfortable I'm, I'm I'm literally moving like this all the time and it's just I can't look at looking at computer screen makes me even more want to vomit like I can't I can't handle it though that's why the only relief I have is taking a walk so I'm just like walking around in circle like I'm I'm just wasting my life right now I'm not even living I'm just trying to just I'm just walking just to feel some relief and there's no I don't know like there's no what else to do like I need I need help so bad like like it seems like the only only options are you know take antidepressants or pills to see if that would that would get rid of this swaying but it's like I don't know like the withdrawal you know there's so many side effects and but I can't live like this I can't live with this rocking feeling this nauseating stomach drop it's not even on and off it's every day 24 7 it's, it's been like this for the past three months since I had the panic attack. And it's a lot worse this month than when it began. It's, it's, it's a lot worse. It's like this heavy feeling like, like gravity is pushing me down. Like it's, it's so, I, I, I can't, it's, it's uncomfortable. I can't. Like I just, I just walk. That's all I can do. I, I, I need, I need help. If anyone can help me, please. Like I, I cannot live like this.